Um, today we'll be talking, we, we are still on uh, social media marketing. I guess last time we 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 started this topic, I think on was that Wednesday, yeah, then we touched uh, Facebook marketing. It was quite uh, a very wide uh, topic, Facebook marketing. Yeah, we, we discussed uh, business with ads manager, uh how to run ads on facebook we talked about audiences we talked about uh, uh, having your business accounts where you can manage all your profiles across instagram uh, whatsapp facebook page all in one place how you can uh, add multiple people to manage your accounts for you uh, we touched basically on every tool that that's on Facebook page, Business Suite, and the Facebook Ads Manager. Yeah, and we we kind of I showed I did a walkthrough of how to run ads, discussed campaign, ad sets, ads level. Yeah, so the video is that is on YouTube. You can always watch if you missed any of the steps. And maybe you are trying to run ads now. You can just go back to the video, watch it, then you are good to go. So yeah, so today we'll be talking about other social forms of marketing, uh, social media platforms and other forms of marketing. So I I think I'll go through uh, YouTube first. Then once we are done with YouTube, then we'll talk about uh linkedin then after linkedin we'll do twitter yeah for instagram uh because it's a uh, mobile i'll see if i can just switch to mobile and just show you some tools on instagram basically for yeah for tiktok there's basically nothing much to to show there yeah so we'll do youtube first like I said, so yeah. so uh, for YouTube, there's a. Uh, I know we are most we are very familiar with YouTube, right? Everybody knows what YouTube is. Hope you guys can can hear me. Yeah, nice. So everybody knows what YouTube is. It's like YouTube is the second largest. Uh, Changing after Google, yeah. So it's a platform. It's a it's a search engine. It's a social media platform where you watch videos, right? Where you can basically some some would say it's more like a university on its own. It's like literally nothing you 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 are looking for that you you can't find or watch on on YouTube. Yeah. So uh, like I, I think I mentioned something about the ecosystem to you one time of the the digital marketing like the whole ecosystem of google paid ads and all of that so it works with youtube as well so for youtube now you have like the content creators then you have the youtube that's the company then you have we advertisers or market digital marketers or what, what, whatever you want to call them the corporate bodies so the money comes from the corporate bodies to youtube then YouTube shows the ads to on other people's content. That's how, that's basically how the money goes around. So once the money you pay is what YouTube shares among themselves and creators on on the platform. So these are platforms that if you want to look into it content and you can uh, get money for it so they call it the youtube partner program really search your uh whatever content so like i said is a search engine yeah now you can search for basically anything so there, there is a Keywords to it as well is so 
where that you go to if you want to have a YouTube channel. <clears throat> so basically, this is your channel. The YouTube studio is where you like manage your YouTube channel. Basically, you see your content, you upload your videos, you do all of that. Then you can only switch accounts, sign out, purchases and memberships. This is where the money thing is. Then you basically that's uh, what you need to see on this side. Then you click your channel. You can always create your channel if you don't have a channel. So one of the things you I would also like you to notice uh, for YouTube now, you need there are tools that you use as well to manage your content on YouTube, and you can properly optimize. The SEO works here as well, search engine optimization, because you have to add tags so that your videos pop up, so that people your videos shows as suggestions, so that uh, people can see your content through the uh, uh, YouTube feed, and your content can be suggested as well. So, so your content can basically grow organically. So, uh, I recommend you use tools like TubeBuddy. There's TubeBuddy. I'll just send the link. Uh, TubeBuddy. Yeah, it has a, a Chrome extension. So, this is TubeBuddy. It basically gives you insights. I suggest uh, tags for you. It helps you, you can see, grow your YouTube audience, join millions of YouTubers optimizing their channels. So there's a free version, there's the paid version, but you can basically use the free version. But if you are like deep into YouTube uh, content, you can always use, uh, you can probably go for the paid version. So, we just send the link. Yeah, so you can always install it with this button, then use the free version. So there's two body. I'll drop it in the group. Okay, yeah. So I'll drop it in the body. And there's VidIQ. VidIQ as well. Those are basically the two to uh, tools, SEO tools you can use for YouTube. So basically, we should always like understand that even when we are treating these topics as uh, separate parts, they form into the overall uh, digital ma uh, content marketing strategy, digital marketing strategy for businesses, then for content creators is the way of uh, uh, building content and generating income, right? So for, for, for businesses, these are platforms that you might want to consider depending on what your business is about. Uh, but most times video marketing works very well. And so YouTube is a platform you might want to look into. So basically what uh, this tool do, does is uh, they, they help you uh optimize your content you can use it to analyze your competitors content and also yeah so there's youtube shorts now youtube shorts is more like uh the short video version of a uh, of a instagram reel and a tiktok so they actually joined the trend so you can also post your tiktok reels and uh, youtube reels on youtube shorts as well. so that can also be a way to to build your audience so, uh, for example, this is a, a course now. This is Figma tutorial. Let's pick this. Trade. So, like I said, like I said, you can see there's an ad. So this ad is what digital marketers do. We run this ad, so they show on the organic contents of content creators, and they get paid for. For, for allowing YouTube to show ads on their videos, yeah, basically. So now you can see what uh, uh, TubeBuddy does is it gives you overall insights of, of your social media, of your of your video content and competitors. You can compare, you can use search rankings uh, and all of that, yeah. So it shows you a summary, the total views of the video, comments, likes, uh, the SEO ranking of this video, uh, 
and it's even quite low but i guess because the brand is a big big company they have 7.88 million subscribers so they probably might not need to to do much seo thingy but for you guys still fresh you're trying to like uh, build your audience you need to do more on seo and tags so it shows you everything about the the organization the sorry the video then you can always check basically so let's look for another video that's uh, that we can use an, as an example a proper example so this is a movie Yeah, so you can always see the tags here. So here you can see the tags that are in the movie. They are just uh, related tags to what the movie is about. But you properly optimize uh, content without, without tags ranging from uh, keywords that people would normally search for in those movies. I worked in a company like that. Let me just try and search for Hollywood movies for you now. So you see. So these these are mostly all these things you see here are keywords. These are keywords that probably if you are in this line of industry in, in this industry, sorry, you would want to consider using this type of keywords. So whatever your business is, you have a cooking tutorial, uh, baking. Let's say baking now. Let's say baking now. So I hope you guys can hear me. Something wrong. okay nice so uh so you can see this search search results are basically what you optimize your content for so whatever content you have is important you note these things unless you are big now you might probably not consider it but when you are still very much channels that have like 322 32k subscriber might not consider this but for channels that are just growing it's important you you take note of keywords like this, then you, you use that in uh, building. So all you, you just do is have to basically look for uh, web, uh, channels that are big on what you are creating. Then you use your Vida, uh, your Vida IQ or TubeBuddy to check for tags here. Then you can always, you can see uh, search rankings here. Let's see, but basically, I don't think any of these videos, any of these tags they use here, ranks uh, like that so you can always copy to clipboard so you can select which tags you want to copy then you you copy those to your clipboard or you create a tag list yeah you can always create a tag list with uh, so creating a tag list means you can assess it uh, uh, like on on uh, two body from your creator studio basically so uh that's on the front end. So on the back end now, let's just move to the back end. Yeah. So this is the back end of your of your website. Oh, so I said website of your channel, your video channel, your YouTube channel, right? So yeah, you have all your videos. Then you can see some metrics here showing you statistics you can see your total total lifetime yeah you see your last 30 days keywords will always appear here if you set them up so yes you have your videos then you have a playlist then you have a, a community you have your about page for community now you can always like post content here behind the scene photos when you go on if you use youtube regularly you see that people do they, they have polls you can always post images videos quiz just to like engage your audience so yeah you have customized channel you have managed videos so you use a customized channel or managed videos it basically directs you to the same creator studio so on this creator studio now uh you have the channel customization yeah you can customize channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed you can create like a 30 seconds video that will appear 
on your home page here yeah? because here is what everyone sees like when they come to your page so you can have that uh, a trailer showing uh, a, a snippet or a trailer of a new content you are working on or something you can have that there then you can have a featured video as well for returning subscribers so once i click this i can just select one of my videos here and i use that as a as let's say i select introduction to digital marketing now then it's going to show you Let me publish. Hit publish. Yeah. So you can see it now it's showing you. So this is what a uh, new subscriber see when you. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayo, I'm not hearing. Am I the only one? Yeah, I could hear you. Yeah, I could hear you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, uh can you guys hear me we couldn't yes, before but we can now okay so from my hand here um i can hear, hear me speaking i don't know if it's a recorded oh I'm sorry, guys. You know what actually happened was the video was playing. So I was like, I was hearing Yemi speaking, and I'm like, probably she's speaking from this meeting. I've forgotten that is from the video that I was playing before. Sorry about that. But you guys can hear me like 100%. But can I see thumbs up? I was lost for a second. I, actually, I was actually hearing Yemi speaking. I didn't, I was confused. So, like I was saying, so basically, why we are touching on uh, YouTube now is there's content marketing to it, and there's a uh, social media marketing. This that this can be a way to also mark a uh, advertised video content and all of that. So, uh, so this is basically channel customization. You can have your trailer here. You can feature a video for returning subscribers. So, what this does is when people are coming to your channel for the first time they see this one here but when people are coming like they've been here before then they see a new content so it's important you change this content over time so that people who are returning can only see something fresh then for here uh featured section sections you can always add uh for example i can add a playlist here so it's just like designing yeah so a playlist is here now then i can rearrange them to appear the way I want them to appear. Most before we could do this from here yeah, directly, but now they've changed it. So this is basically uh your layout. Then you come to branding here, yeah, you have your logo here, yeah, you have uh, your banner, you have a size for your banner. So if you are if you are creating a YouTube channel for yourself as a content creator, you want to partner with YouTube and make money, you can always post content. For I think somebody said she does cakes. You can record yourself, post videos of it. People optimize it properly. Then people start watching your content. After I think after uh, one thousand subscribers and four k watch time, but I think I had they've reduced it. Not sure, but the usual is four k watch time. That's four hours of watch time and one thousand 
uh, subscribers, you become qualified for the YouTube partnership program. Then whenever ads show on your video, you get paid for it. And it's always it's big money actually if you can actually if you have people watching your content you can make dollars out of it. So uh yeah, you upload your banner image here, which is basically I'm not showing you, I'm not showing you. But it's a banner image. I think I had one before. Then this watermark here is basically uh, shows on uh, on your video. So that when people are watching your content, they see this, so it can be recorded and maybe posted somewhere else also. You can put it entire video, custom start time, end of video. Yeah, then you go to basic info, yeah, you put your name, your handle, what's your YouTube handle? You put it here, you put your name here, people can find you by your handle and you can use it for to advertise on social media. Then your description, basically, then your channel URL is here. So you can always copy this, share with people. It takes them directly to your channel and they can subscribe, right? Then you can add links to your social media platforms as well, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Then, yeah, links on banner. What links do you want on, on your banner? First five links, first four links, depending on what, what social media links you want to appear there or whatever link you are adding to it. A link to your website can also be here. Then I'll probably just add that. Uh, yeah. So then uh, your email should be there as well because people might want to contact you directly from your from your account from your uh, YouTube channel. So you just when, once you are done with all of this, you hit publish. You can view channel here, but basically what we are doing here. Let's reload. Again, so for this thing confusing anything. Yeah, so basically that's it. You can have as many playlists here. You can uh, organize your videos as anyhow you want here so that they show as different content instead of having them showing as the same thing. But basically because what we've been posting is you can have most recently viewed, you can most recently uploaded, sorry, you can have a most viewed. So you can sort them according to your, what you feel is best for you. So that's uh, for that. And one thing I want to, okay, so let's go to, okay, let's come here first. So this is your dashboard, yeah? Your dashboard for your studio, YouTube studio. So you have a, performance, latest video performance, showing the best videos, your subscribers, your analytics. Uh, yeah, recent subscribers, latest comments, everything is here. So for, for analytics, it's important as a digital marketer to always take a note of analytics as a content creator as well, to know what content people like watching on your channel, to know where people are coming from, to know, uh, uh, what is driving them to your channel? You understand. So, to it uh, gives you an insight to what type of contents people want to see. Because the trick with uh, with YouTube and every algorithm is there are millions of contents online. The point is to create valuable content that stands out. Right? Is to create content that people want to see. Yes, and also the thing I I noticed with YouTube while I was working on it is you might actually post things people want to see, right? But the algorithm has a way of uh, tweaking your, your uh, showing you what you should stick with. Like you are posting content, right? You might post different types of content, but there are some type of content you post that will do mostly well than the other. Once you kind of figure out what works, just stick with it and leave every other thing basically to so that you double down then when you are you've doubled down on that and you've like milked it you can now start doing other things it's always important to note that especially for uh, for content creators you might create a type of content use a type of title your title is important you may you might use a type of title which is also why you have to know the keywords in your business in your industry so that you use those keywords to form titles 
So yeah, there are content you probably for us now. We create content that, that are basically about what we are doing at the moment. For example, Axity Talks, for example, this bootcamp. I won't now say because I want to optimize my content, I will change the name of my of the bootcamp to something that is a keyword just so I want to I want to feature it. I want my content to go right. I have to actually name this content accordingly to what is in, actually in it. Because YouTube also punishes people that kind of use titles that are not related to what they are watching yeah so you have to understand that so once your content you have to know that you, you have to optimize your title and also your content has to be relevant to what you are posting so that uh, the algorithm will reward you for uh, for 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 the fact that people stay on your page on your video for longer hours so there's watch time that's the number of time uh, people spend on your content and there's what they call AVD that's the average view duration that's the average time people watch your content for so here you can see the best the most performing content you can see them on graph here then you can see the traffic source tells you where they are coming from they are coming from external so probably people who click the link so you can it can I think it breaks it down further yeah, so WhatsApp. So you can see WhatsApp, meaning most people are coming from WhatsApp, WhatsApp business. This is also a WhatsApp uh, domain. So Telegram. So basically, it gives you insight to how you. So it's also important whenever you post your contents on YouTube to share them. You share them as well to your social platforms so that people can can uh, redirect. It's also a way of getting organic traffic. So trying to go back here so so you have direct these are people that are just directly punching your your content these are browse features uh what's that let's see now so uh, so we have home subscriptions people will save your videos for watch later so basically what analytics shows you is just so you can know where your audience are coming from and how to so basically once your audience are big big you start coming up in youtube search youtube search is the your seo optimized so suggested videos as well is actually a big way to eventually drive traffic because how many people are you going to direct from sharing so your content has to organically go and uh, move so for your content to move organically it has to come from the youtube search and uh, suggested videos playlist page yeah youtube about that uh, playlist playlist page suggested videos youtube search basically uh so that's that then you have your geography you can know location so we have nigeria yeah nigeria then you can see cities as well these things now you can always compare you can change your yeah you can see cities the basically no cities is showing there is age but sometimes people don't okay so we have age yeah not enough demographic data to show this report so you can see age group so you know are you actually are your content uh, suited for the your target audience which is why it's important to have a target audience before you even do uh, your strategy before you, you launch any any campaign or any content marketing plan yeah it's important to know your 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 target audience so once you see your target audience is resonating with what you have then you are doing a, a great job and if your content is not resonating with what you have here and probably they are doing very well then you might want to uh capitalize on it and uh, that means those maybe your 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 research audience research was not properly done so you can also see gender it's yeah you can last 90 90 days you can compare data yeah basically that's what analytics is about yeah so you can also see real time people what contents people are watching so yeah 12 views in the last 48 hours so one view yesterday you can see time now 10 to 11 a.m. one view so so you can all see all of that here your top content in this period yeah so you can see yeah i want to show you something here see something there was this funnel i saw here yeah so this is it so this funnel shows 
impressions yeah impressions is the number of times your content is is shown this is 80 89.2 percent from youtube recommending your content so you have like 7.3 k like 7300 impressions right these are the number of times your content is shown so your click through rate is 1.4 percent that's the number of times people see your content and click so click through rate i think i don't know if i mentioned it in the 10 in the uh popular digital marketing terms is the number of times people see your content percentage of times people see your content and click so 1.4 percent actually clicked from this 7.3k 7, 7 impressions views from impression 99 uh, average avd is 2.38 I think then the average AVD was around, was it not 20 something minutes for Nollywood movies at the time? That was some from years back now. So watch time from impressions, four hours. So people have actually watched our content for four hours. So it's always good to Im improve on that. You can see most of the things we, I showed you earlier on the other side. So yeah, you have your content. Basically you have your content here. This is where you upload your videos upload videos you can go live here you can create posts new playlists you can create a new podcast from here so basically these are everything you can so once you click upload videos it takes you to select the file so i advise you name your video content the title you want it to you want to give it on youtube as well if i want this content to be real estate ux overflow here it has to be real estate ux overflow as the video title is basically my part of the alt text I was talking about with. So most of these things apply across board, yeah? Most of these principles, these uh, uh, best practices, yeah, it cuts across board. Once you know how to do it on this platform, you just copy what you know there and duplicate it here, then you are good to go. So you can, this is your content. You can always change from public to private, unlisted, you can schedule them. You can premiere them also. So once you upload your content from here, then you automatically start to let's try something. I don't want to. I've uploaded almost all the videos I have, but let's see if I can upload something. Yeah. So let's say I'm uploading this one. You can probably say it's a duplicate, it recognizes duplicate too as well. Yeah, so basically, once you start using this, it, it, it pops up this page while it's uploading. You can always, sometimes the upload might take time. So this is your URL video link that you copy, you send to people. Then you or you put your title here. This is your title. It allows 100 characters. So you can, you can use your main title. Most of the time, what I do is use the main title of the video. Then you, for example, this is the Ita Marketing Bootcamp. Then i space it then i put keywords that are important keywords in the field that you feel should be in their video those are the research keywords that you've done most used ones you can put them here as well but you would have entered every information you need to enter for your video right that actually talks about what the video is about then you put your description it's also important you put description as well put keywords in your description but don't do keyword stuffing. The same thing that doesn't work on Google does not work here. Keyword stuffing is not allowed. You have to actually write a description. So yeah, so you can always change your thumbnail. Your thumbnail is this. Uh, let's, let's, let's see. This is thumbnail. So sometimes you might is all is best you design thumbnails that are attractive. So you don't just use your video. Some people use natural video thumbnail, but it's not advisable. Most times you can see these are thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. You have to design like your cover. Yeah. You have to design your cover. This one is not using any cover. And it did well too. 60k. So it depends on what works for you. Sometimes there are people you can see this movie. These are part of the movies I do work on then, like some years back now. You can see no thumbnail. Some people, thumbnail doesn't work for them. Once you start adding thumbnail to your videos, then they don't perform. So it depends on what the, yeah, you have what you want, but you have to also consider what the algorithm is pushing your way. And you, you uh, maximize that. You can add your playlist from here. You can create new one from here as well. From For here now, you have a, 
made for kids you select no since your video is not for kids so you select no it's not made for kids then you put your uh, it's not your paid promotion you don't select this then you come here you add your tags yeah these are your tags where you add your tags that you've, you've researched you can import if you have a list you don't have any tag list that was the list i was showing you before if you have a list already from your research basically your research is you looking at the top five top ten competitors or people who do the same thing you your type of content you do go to their page use your youtube body to get top ranking uh, keywords from their tags then you compile the list and you you paste it here so you can also yeah you can see from just this title now it's suggesting keywords for me already digital marketing social media marketing course learn digital marketing you can only select this right when your keywords allows for 500 characters so it's always good to use long tail keywords and also short keywords as well but don't use too much too generic keywords the competition will be very high on those keywords so yeah tag tools yeah copy sort you can sort according to ranking because sometimes the the top the first keywords you use are the most the ones that are most effective so you have to make sure the your most search keywords are the top ones are the first ones that you put here before you add other ones so it's by rank they they sort it by number one number two number three so those are what algorithm will see first once algorithm comes to your page sees your title goes through your description then comes to uh, your tags so the first set of tags are what would actually help you so it's important you sort and you arrange accordingly then you can like import you can also use keyword explorer yeah you can see let's search uh, can somebody give us something to search for somebody should give us something please i'm checking the comments <laughs> mr 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 baron is copied the best permission let me just start it yeah Let's see. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, your, this is your brand. This is your thing is a niche. Uh, it's more of B2B, sir. Is it B2C like that? It's B2B now. Because you are targeting business owners, right? So you can see fair your over, the overall score of this keyword. Uh, let's see. What are people searching for here? Yeah. so we have a search volume poor competition is not is not optimization strength is big but the search volume is poor meaning people are not searching for these keywords basically on youtube so that's why the competition is very good because people are not searching for it so and yeah this related searches corporation board of directors are necessarily not might not be people looking for corporate affairs commission. So you can see, let's see the results. So we have videos. So you might want to, this is somebody 2.8K views, corporate affairs commission, how to get your business name certificate within three days. This is one of, okay, this is the best one. We have a 4.9K, how to become an accredited agent of CAC. Register your church. These are people, into the business online but well, these are the best videos how to resolve query on company reg with company best commission this so so is that how to how to videos do very well how to how to so people will also so these are the so you can always use this copy this uh what do i call them now this channel then you you research on the keywords that are on their page let's see So let's see. Okay, this guy has videos. Okay, but he, he actually posts a lot of things, not just the CNC thing. So now he has videos on Blender, has 32k views. You just create this is part of creating content. So you can always this is full star vegetable chopper. This one didn't do well. You are breaking. So it's just I guess it's a content creator just posting things that would fetch him money on YouTube. 
most affordable shipping. So once you click on this video, like I said, you it will pop out on uh, what is this of you know? So it will pop out. Uh, so he has eighty SEO score. You can see tags. So these are things you go and copy. So depend if your business is into if all you are doing is this, you can just copy some here, show rankings. Once you say you show ranking, you see a green sign it actually ranks. Yeah, so you can see 20. So I think this is the most ranked. Let's ship in again for finance in Nigeria. That's 20. So this is the most ranked here. So you might just want to copy the, the ranked ones and the uh, use. So yeah, that's uh, that for for yeah, so basically then you select your yeah if you have a caption that's your text caption subtitle you can always add them recording date and location if you want to this stand, license is just standard youtube license nothing to change to leave that like that then you can only select your category of your it's important to also put category put the category out to style if it's out to put out to if it's news and politics if it's music whatever uh, content you are creating, people and blogs, you always put them there. Then once you do that, you nest, then you go to video elements. So video elements, so yeah, no. So video elements is a uh, subtitle, no, not subtitle, no. subtitle is there, but I'm not talking, okay. I'm not interested in subtitle, right? So end screen and cards, these are things you see on your videos. Once you play your videos, you see pop up from, from this side. I'm very sure you've seen something like that before. Or the videos, the suggestions at the end of your video where, for example, let's say I come here now. They have, they don't have, I'm just sure. So once you do this video elements i'm going to show you you go to checks for the checks it just shows uh if your content has copyright issues it's important to know that sound and uh, you don't just steal people videos and post you won't get money for it then visibility you put it on private public or you schedule so that's uh that on uh so i'm just going to cancel this cancel what so for example, let's take one, one of these videos now. So yeah, so you have your title, you have your description, you have a thumbnail set, you have a, your playlist set, you have, no, it's not made for kids. You put your tags here, you can see these are ranking tags. Basically, because no, there are less competition on them. Nobody is searching for RCT Tech that much yet. So, what would I want to do? Yeah, I still have enough space to take more tags. So, I can just take these tags that they are suggesting for me. Since I don't have anything, I want to, I want to put them. So then you can sort or to sort by rank. So it's sorting it by ranking. Apply and close. So you can sort them according to the ranking. So yeah. So you can save. So these are the end screen that I was talking about. The end screen, yeah. This is just videos. When you watch, you are everybody knows YouTube now. When you on YouTube, you have videos that pop out like this. You can always set where you want them to be, where you want them to show on your videos. So it's because they are end screens, they should always show at the end since they take like full the old they cover the whole screen so it's important to just put them towards the end of your video so you can always add playlists add your channel so that people can subscribe then videos that you feel you want to push you can add them as well or video that you feel are related to what they are watching and you feel they would want to watch as well so this uh, yeah so then there's cards those these cards as well you can see them this is how they pop up those pop-ups that come you can always set them so it's important to set them from the beginning of your videos, after a while, start put adding them so that in case people get tired of probably that content, suggestions pops up for them to watch something else that they would like. 
So they can always click. You can add playlists to it. You can add the uh, videos to it as well. So that's a uh, that for end screen and cards. Subtitles. If you have subtitles, which is the CC uh, captions I was talking about, you can uh, add upload them. I think you upload them as XR, SRC files. So yeah, basically that's everything you need to know about this part of YouTube. So you can always upload your content, create content for your, it's also a way of optimizing SEO overall. So when I search people on, when I search for Axity Tech on, on Google now, on that video section, videos like this will pop up. So let's, let's try it. There's also uh, videos. So we have videos from Twitter, so they are not popping up yet. Okay, they are popping up, but they are not at the top, top yet. So with time, they will start popping up top, top. You can see UI UX Bootcamp, UI UX Bootcamp, UI UX Bootcamp. So with time, once we continue with it, once they search for Axity, they start popping up and uh, you start seeing our content. Basically, it's for search engine optimization. So you don't lose traffic. You can get people to watch your content. From there, they can always contact you. Yeah, so that's that for you, for this. Then there's something else I might want to show. Yeah, so this is N. This is where you see your money. Once, uh, once uh, you start, uh, yeah, you can see reach our requirements to apply. 1,000 subscribers, we are on 23. So we still have like uh, 977 to go. Then you have 4,000 watch hour, which you have like uh, 14 hours. So we still have like a lot to go there. Then you have uh, short views, which are for the sh reels and the TikTok type of videos. You need 10 million short views before you can start getting money. So I think one of the ways you can easily get is even these short views. I think short videos can get more views like crazy. So you can just uh, leverage on short views if you have content related to that and start making money. So there's audio library. This allows you to take sound from YouTube. You can use this sound to, you can download them and use them to create your content. Once you create content with this sound, you won't be, they won't have copyright issues, but you can't just pick a whiskey song and upload it with your video. It will be copyrighted and you, they might ask you to delete the video. They might take it down. They might leave the video and you don't get money for it. So these are three sounds that you can always use for if you are creating content on YouTube for video content or you have a sound that you've actually paid for, then you can use. But if you have none, you can always come here or use free sounds online. So on the setting side, uh yeah you can change your currency yeah you put your location you add keywords it's important to have keywords for for uh for your channel yeah for channel optimization so when people search with the channel filter you can come up for those keywords so it's always important to add keywords here as well i think another up to 500 too then you have a advanced settings about the kids thing you might if you don't want it to show pop up every now and then you can always switch it off here by answering yes or no you can link your google ads account to it you link your google ads so that you can run ads you can promote videos from here if you have videos you want to promote you can always promote them once you've linked your google ads to it uh yeah because if you want to run ads if you want to run video ads you have to link youtube to google ads you upload the video on youtube first then because it's linked google ads can select videos from you can select videos from google ads to run on uh, youtube so you can manage your youtube account you can remove it feature eligibility so i think we are uh, eligible for these features uh yeah enabled so then upload defaults so that is if you want your videos to have default title and description probably if you are creating the same type of content across uh, every time you can only set this instead of you to now start writing description every time you have like default description then you just put it there 
you have default type two, you just put it there. But for us now, we have like different type. We have activity talks, we have the training, and every other thing we might be posting. So you cannot set your default to it's best to set it to private so that you can you can edit your content. I think uh, default is private, but if you check, put it to public, that means once you upload videos, it goes to public. Then you can put your tags there for advanced settings. These are the captions, subtitle thing. You can always do that. Then comments, you can hold, allow all comments. You can block spamming and all of that with this tool here. More, more like the Facebook moderation assistance we, we, we saw last week. So for permissions, you can add, invite people to manage this account for you from here. You just add their Gmail, they get an invite. Once they accept, they can access your, your studio from their back end. Yeah, so for the community, these are managing moderator. Uh, you can add other people to help you manage your community. So what you just need is paste the URL of the user, the channel URL, they, they, they will have a YouTube URL channel. So you can always do that. You can, you can block people as well if you want to block people. It doesn't show you. This is for eating users. You might want to add people and hide them. Uh, so you can put that here. Uh, so you can words that you want to block. Yeah, people. You don't want people to 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 type some type of words on your platform. You can always put those words here. You can block links as well whenever people comment links because one thing that was common at a point was other people will try to drive drive traffic from your video to their video so they just spam your comment section on your best videos and they post links to their own channel probably telling them that they can watch something better than this or watch something more on this a more detailed version of this this, this is just to drag so you can always block things like that so that yeah so this is just a survey then you have agreements yeah so basically that's everything on that settings for yeah for youtube so with this you can you can use youtube for content creation you can use it for marketing social media marketing as well so we are going to move from here now. I'm going to go back to, yeah. So I'm just going to stop sharing for a sec. Then I'll go to LinkedIn. So we touch LinkedIn as well. So we have, uh, is Laura here? Pete is leaving the meeting and coming back. Because I know a few people now. Okay. Trying to check. Yeah. yeah, good to have you here. So you can also use uh, this type of con this uh, like if they, at the end of the day, these tools are available for everyone. And you just look at what can I use in any of these tools to kind of bring more better results for my organization, improve brand awareness, uh, get more more leads or whatever the overall. The overall strategy is for your and goals and objectives for your company. But it's a one, these are things that you use for content marketing, which are important to kind of build brand trust and uh, uh, let them see you. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sogide has left probably network. So I'm just going to move to LinkedIn now, then we touch Twitter real quick. Then we are, we'll, I think we'll be done with social media marketing basically those are the platforms that you might want to consider to run at so uh yeah this is a uh, your linkedin page like everybody knows so uh, first thing first before you can start advertising on on linkedin what you want to do is uh, uh, create a page a company page right so this is where you do that see yeah so this is it create a company page this is how you create a page from here once you create your page you put your just like i like i said come to your own page here for business you select here then you click on create a page so yeah other things you can do there's post a job for free which is that while i was talking about why would, will i want to promote a job posting on facebook when i can just 
post it on LinkedIn for free. So you can just create. So that's why it's important to know those your channel, know where your audience are, and you go there, and you might probably not even be paying to to get what you want to get. So this is a create a company page. So once you click that, it creates a page for you. So for example, so this uh, Axity page now. So on this end, you can always see uh, your analytics here. You can see analytics on this side. Uh, you can add a lead form if you want to see. Yeah, this is why it's recording no leads. If I add a lead, lead generation form, probably a form where I want people to just put their email, I, I'll probably get something. I might be offering something, an ebook, uh, a, 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 probably a digital marketing strategy form or a template for in exchange for their for their emails. Sorry, I can do that from here. There's newsletter option. You can post newsletters like most of the newsletters you post by email. You can also post them here. Your hashtags are your events. You can add events if you have any event coming up. You can always post them here. Probably have a webinar coming up. You have a a, a conference or something. You can always do that here. But you have to keep in mind that this is B two B. So, uh, well, there are also cons con consumers here as well. So, but most of these tools are tailored for B two B. So. Uh, that's uh, that then there's admin tools where you can invite people connections to like your page on linkedin create an event create a showcase page post a free job so all these things are available once you have a, a company page right you can manage your admins here it's just the same way you can add more people to be an admin on this page you can remove people as well yeah so you can deactivate your page here. So on the on the oh, okay. yeah. So you can do that. Then there is products. Uh, if you have a product you want to showcase, you can always put that here. Then there is content. These are your these are your content recommend to employees if you want to recommend them. I don't use that. Then analytics. This shows you basically uh, your followers, your visitors, insights. You can see these are metrics that are important. Custom button clicks. You have six. You have ninety-one unique visitors. You don't have six page views. Uh, then you have well, your visitor demographics. These are people in engineering, people in art and design, marketing, blah, 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 and all of that. They are all there. Then you can also see from business analytics to followers, people that are actually following you. You can see them here, their location, where they are from, seeing UK, New York City. You can see where your followers are from here. Then you can also see leads which is we don't have the form so yeah you can see content see which contents are doing well yeah you can see all of that yeah shows these are your content you can check here for impressions for clicks reaction comments repost engagement rates then you can also see competitors yeah so yeah you can see Welcome to start editing your page list to track and benchmark your page up against your competitors. So I can search for people that I feel are my competitors. My competitors, I'll search for them. Then I'll add them to this list. Then I continue and start recording their performance. So because I've not done that, it's telling me, it's just showing me as number one. Once I start selecting people that are in the same business as I am, it start ranking our engagement on LinkedIn and tells me uh so you can always edit competitors here. so where do i rank this week weekly on a weekly basis it tells you where you rank in terms of your content compared to your your uh competitors so here you have activities where you can see all your notifications your comments likes everything is showing on this side so this is where you get to to see all of that 
and they reply to comments and 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 that then there's advertise so this is advertise this is where you run ads on linkedin so what because you have a page now you have a page you can click here it takes you to another platform share this tab instead showing you this one now so yeah you can see your your ad accounts so let's say i'm checking this out now so this account is on hold because of a of a payment sorry so yeah basically what you can see here like i said we have the the three levels yeah you have your campaign groups you have your campaign and ads so it's com compared to facebook where we have campaign ad set ads yeah we have campaign groups campaign and ads so you can run just like the same level of a uh, uh, of campaign that we explained earlier so your business manager is here as well same thing with facebook if you intend to use uh uh linkedin for advertising however linkedin ads are very are quite expensive you have to understand i think a minimum is ten dollars for a day you can't run less than that so you have to consider that then here you can hit create once you click click create you can start creating your ad so you create your campaign group first so you name your campaign uh let's say test so you name your campaign you select what your objective just the same way we do the objective on what objective brand awareness website visit engagement video views lead generation website conversion job applicants yeah too they also have a uh, conversion tracking codes that you use to track the what, what people are doing on your platform which you put on your google tag manager like i said earlier and i'm still going to show you guys that hopefully i was having trouble setting that up for a bit so yeah you can only select what is the overall objective do you want people to visit your website you click here you want people to be aware of your product your engagement you want to drive comments likes shares or you want to lead generation people to fill your form you want people to take an action on your website job applicants if you want you are trying to get people to apply for a job you can also run ads like that so let's say website visits now so once you click website visit the thing about uh, linkedin advertising is it kind of narrow down your advertising to so you can tire people based on their job so yeah you can put a uh, job budget optimization yeah do you want to optimize budget on this level same thing with campaign optimization on facebook so once uh, the, the trick to this is once you know one interface very well you can always use that to understand how they just change some of this uh their uh, english it's basically the same thing so group budget and schedule you can decide to put that on here and you can decide to put down on the other level but once you put it here it allocates your budget to the best performing campaign campaigns right you can see we automatically distribute your, distribute your group budget across the best performing campaigns for better roi that's a return on investment so this automatically the algorithm looks at which campaign is performing then allocates more budget to it compared to the ones that's not performing so yeah you select your dates so you can select everything with a budget so lifetime budget which is why i said it's important to always include lifetime budget because you so you don't forget you have ads running and you just uh you just start wasting money right it's always good to have a lifetime budget so it doesn't spend more than what you have on budget so you you eat create yeah so this is it test now i'll create campaign so you can see now i had to create the campaign group first now i click on the campaign campaign group it takes me to the campaign level and i'm creating campaign right for that particular campaign group it's just different grammar that they are using for these things so yes now 
I have already selected my objective. I have scheduled it for so so and so date. I have a budget now. Uh, I need to select a bid strategy on the campaign level. How much have I spent? Nothing yet. So you click next. So you name your campaign now. So if, compared to Facebook, this campaign is the ad set level. The campaign on Facebook is campaign group on LinkedIn. So you have to understand, it's basically, they work the same way, but different uh, name, basically. So yeah, you put your campaign name here. It's important so you can know your campaigns. Let's say test, then you come here under audiences. So it's important, your audiences, if you have saved audience, for Google is suggesting you target people with bachelor's degree, expertise in biotechnology, expertise in Bitcoin, expertise in... So you can target people based on their level of uh, uh, education level, based on what they are, they are currently, their current roles. So which is why I said uh, LinkedIn is basically B2B, but if you are targeting yeah, you know what you are targeting. You are basically professional. So you can, most of and you get reward for your money, especially if your business is is actually something good. So you can always yeah change your location. If you want to change location, yeah, you can do that. You can change your location on this side. I hope you guys can see. Can you guys see my screen clearly? Can I get thumbs up if you can? yeah okay thank you so yeah now you can you have uh, your your location yeah so you have your location here then you have a target audience you can edit this so you put age what age do you want to target you put here then you start putting Let's say remove all that triples. So now you start putting what you want to target in terms of audience, uh, audience attributes. So you come to company, you can target people working in company connections, company groups, company industry, company names. You can start start with let's say let's see if I can target access. I can target people working in this company. So my ads will show to people in this organization. So you can see that it's very much detailed, which is why it's expensive. So you can target by that. You can target by company connections, company follower of company growth rates. I target all of that. Then you come to demographics, age and gender, education. You can target by degrees. Is it you want to target only people who have masters? Probably what you are selling is for people in with masters. So masters of this admin, masters of arts, you target all of them on this side. Yeah. Then you have a field of study. You can target based on what they study in school. You have member school. I think there are some universities that target people by university now, University of Ibadan. Yeah like that so basically that's what linkedin is about you can also target by interest just like the one with uh, you can target by groups interest you have a uh, general interest yeah people are interested in business and management people interested in finance probably if we want to run a, a linkedin campaign i'll probably target people interested in in tech i see tech here yeah. Then anybody that has shown interest in their BA in tech will, will see you see the ad. So basically, that's a software development software, sales of sales software, productivity software. You can target people by the products they interact with on LinkedIn as well. People, data science software, education software. So basically, that's what the targeting is for. Just the same way you target, then you run your campaign type. What do you want to run? Is it single image? Is it carousel? That's multiple images. Is it a video? Is it just text? Is it spotlight ads? Is it conversation? These conversation ads are the type that show in message. If you are, if you use LinkedIn very well, you see sometimes you have, uh, let's see if I have one. 
Yeah, I think I have one. So this type now, this one here, LinkedIn offer. Is it okay? Share this tab instead. So this one here now is a type of a campaign. And I think I'm not seeing other one. Okay, so you can see LinkedIn offer sponsored. These campaigns now are uh, conversation type campaigns on LinkedIn. They just pop up in the person's message like a normal chat, right? Once I start selecting the options given, the question, the conversation builds from there. You can see the person asked a question like I asked answered true, then it, it comes to true, then there's a response. So most of these responses are recorded. You just give the, the algorithm, the AI like sends uh, your answer based on what the person selects. So at the end of the day, it boils down to what you are selling. At the end of the person comes, the conversation ends with you proposing whatever it is you are selling. So these are uh, tools you can always check out for 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 link for linkedin then you can select your placement so linkedin linkedin audience network basically that's where you want to run your ads and the budget we've selected that it's on the other side then uh then you have your bidding cost cap which is get as much many results as possible while staying under your desired uh maximum get with your full budget so this is uh, maximum delivery is the best for this cost cap uh is talking about getting the best cost per result so you are you are focused on uh, showing your ass to people that will actually take the required action so they want to reduce your cost per result but maximum delivery is 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 okay then you can click next then you go to uh what else you go to your proper ads now where you write your content so yeah you just create new ads just create new ads then you put the name of your ad you put your text you put your text here you put your destination url here then you add images your image you upload them you put your headline and you put your let's say upload um, so you upload your image here you put your headline then you put your description then it pops out here let's say upload let's see so the preview is not showing probably my chrome has some issues then you put your city here your call to action once you selected every one of these you can put your cta which is what you want them to do do you want them to sign up do you want them to learn more do you want them to buy now whatever it is you want to put you can always put that there so that's basically what uh, everything on uh, linkedin linkedin uh, advertising i think with this now you can actually run ads on linkedin if you want to just set up your page Click on advertise on your set up your page from your from here. Create a company page. Once you are done, click on advertise. It takes you to the other side. Then you target your audience. It's important where whenever you're running out to make sure you do detailed targeting. So your ads only show to people that are interested in your business and you get the best ROI once you do that. So the last one would be uh let me stop sharing for a second. So the last one will be Twitter, right? Let's just do Twitter. Does anyone have a question before we go on? Do you have questions for me? You can just you can just ask the questions now concerning what we've learned so far. If you have questions, please just throw it. Okay, so can, um, are you hearing me? I can hear you very well, sir. Okay, um, why on YouTube training? I mean, why on training on YouTube? You said that um, it can be used for content and can also be used for digital marketing as well. Yeah. So, um, are you by that statement? Does it mean he, there is the content using it for content? will 
you might not likely be for money or it should it can't even be money or making money out of it while for digital marketing of course strictly for making money or both of them can be um useful yeah it can be both you can have a company that has a very good uh uh the overall strategy is your content marketing right for an organization you are trying to to create content that your audience would like then from there you understand that in the long term they will definitely which we, we that was one of the reasons why we had to like treat content marketing first so you understand the whole idea of everything all these things you see online the essence of them spending money to pay those videos it's not actually because the organization wants to make money they're more money they making they don't want to make money directly from that videos but that comes in the long run once you have good content that people like and they keep sharing your content and they keep watching and you reach those you reach the requirements for the youtube partner program you definitely make money like the i think in danny tv that gtv owns now so those platforms will make money but the primary aim was for content marketing, the overall content marketing strategy is to give value, mm -hmm. create valuable content, which is the same thing you will do on Instagram, which is the same thing you will do on uh, on on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, on your blog posts as well. The only difference now is YouTube is giving an opportunity, just like even the the other ones as well on Facebook, Instagram. I think some countries they are, they even pay them for it. So the, the the primary goal of an organization is to create valuable content. First of all, content that will keep that would engage. Uh, I think those attract, engage, and retain. Right? You want to attract your audience on wherever platform they are. Once you know your audience are on this platform, leverage on that platform, create content that will attract them. You engage them and you retain them. So that's the primary. Aim. But for a content creator, which is a an a, an ordinary person like the Tayo I know type, the, um, I think if it's Kitchen too, if it's Kitchen was somebody I was trying to remember when we were talking about uh, influencer marketing one time, when I said that we are run a campaign with somebody, a lady that deals with food. If it's Kitchen, I think she has a vlog on YouTube where she, she cooks and posts videos there. For those ones, they are in it to create content that would, that would, they will make money from and give them the followership they want, right? They want to have uh, that brand where a, a brand following, then the that brand following turns into money in terms of direct money from the platform, which is YouTube. And also from businesses that feel they want to use them as influencers. So you understand my point, basically? Yeah. Uh -huh. so yeah, so oh, that's what I was saying. The ecosystem has the in the the content creators slash influencers, then the corporate bodies, which are where we those we work for in the back end, digital marketers, or those we work for the corporate bodies. Then the platforms, the platforms that marries the influencer and content creators, and the the corporate bodies. What is the goal? The goal is the audience. The audience is what we are we are trying to get right. So. Yeah, so that's the whole point. So the essence of for an organization to include this in uh, content marketing is a strategy is to attract, engage, and retain their audience. Yeah. So basically, that's why you create contents on YouTube for organizations. In the long run, once you your content do very well, people will have large following. You get money for it. So just a second. It's trying to run through Twitter. Yeah, so we just go through Twitter real quick. So uh, before we go to Twitter, uh, personally for Twitter, I'm not a fan of uh, running uh, ads on Twitter. I feel Twitter is a platform that's more opinion uh, focused. They tend to share. They are based. They they tend to operate on an opinion level you want to hear what somebody has to say about something before you do it you want to because that's what sells there type how you feel type how you feel type how you feel so most times when you run ads on twitter for me personally the past the ads i've run i i probably wouldn't consider it compared to what facebook and instagram is giving me which is also why you have to analyze your ads and the platform to use to know where you are getting the most traffic so but 
if you feel you want to consider them, it's always important to know the tools as well. Those are part of the things that Elon Musk too also said is working on with uh, Twitter is kind of improve the ads experience for, for marketers, basically. So there are different type of ads. This is an ad now, MTN 5G, Nigeria's number one 5G network promoted by, by MTN Nigeria. This is an ad. This is a, a, a own type of a Twitter ads. But it's MTN, even though they don't do this, we know MTN has 5G compared to a brand that nobody knows. You just start showing stuff here. People, how many people click on these things as self? So it's uh, it's dicey to run ads like on Twitter proper. But other things you might want to consider uh, is influencer marketing. It works really big on Twitter if you have a brand and you are looking for a strategy to to uh, penetrate Twitter, it will be through influencer marketing. You can do influencer marketing, you organize uh, contests, challenges, giveaways through those influencers. I think it's a way to start. And you can see for big brands like, I think Piggy Vest, I, I knew about them from, from, uh, from, from Twitter. I think I saw people, yeah, it's just the, the thing with Twitter is once you have enough influencers you have the money to spend on these influencers and they are talking about it a month campaign let's just uh, let them start talking about it before you know everybody is looking like what is this thing about sex i think that time what the influencers were doing is they would save money and they would take a screenshot and post and say ah uh, my money in this platform this and that uh, i've been saving very well yeah i think one time one guy like that i think familiar guy is now a special advisor to to Enugu State, Enugu State uh, governor is a is a very big a big time influencer brand influencer. I think I, I have I worked with him. I'm not sure again, but I, I've run some campaigns with influencers on on Twitter as well. So then, uh, what he would do is he would I think then at the beginning of the year he, he they, they developed a, a a campaign where they were like okay, I want to start saving fifty k per day. He just called one at outrageous number and people were like where is he going to get the money from and all of that just to spark conversations and discussion on the topic so those are part of strategies that mostly worked for for twitter that i've seen for piggy vest for uh the other brands like that there are a couple of brands that i think i i knew about them from from twitter like the binance uh blockchain cryptocurrency kind of thing i knew about them from from twitter as well and other brands like that the use of influencer marketing work more than uh just running at out of nowhere for instagram and facebook you can do that people the i don't know the consumer behavior on those platforms understands that people uh, brands can actually run ads and but for here once you run ads people just let's see if we can find any ad on this Okay, so we are seeing one ad now. So this is an ad. You see promoted here. This is another ad from, from MTN. But because I know MTN already, it's easy for them to just run something. But if you don't know them, it, it becomes hard for you to just carry a, an unknown brand and stop just wasting money because nobody clicks that much on these things. Before you know it, the number of people that you get that actually went to your website will be very low. I've tried it before, and I want to try it too. So, but Twitter is also a very good platform. If there's enough budget to, to back it up, you can always leverage on this and use it to your to, to your uh, best, to your advantage. So you have the home page, explore notifications. Everybody uses Twitter anyway, so you, you know these things. So then your profile, uh, you have your cover image, you have your, your everything here, you edit your profile, add a URL. Then there's this more, on that more now, we have Creator Studio, the analytics. What this analytic does, does is takes you to, shows the analytics of your, of your, uh, of your Twitter account. You can see how your Twitter account is doing on this side. To show you your tweets, show you metrics, how are they performing? That with this you can always 
know what type of content people are engaging on your account then you can double down on them you can see top tweets uh for the month uh top mention n20 engagement someone posted about participating in the boot camp then there is the top tweet of a uh, i think she she reposted this Texas celebrating uh, six in tech. This one top media tweet as well. So these are the things uh, you can do with uh, your analytics. The more, let's see, conversion tracking, events manager, conversion tracking, the Google Tag Manager thing, which I, I really hope we can get it sorted so I can show you things how to add those tags. Once you add them, you can always track specific customers action on your platform right so this is a uh, the analytics basically then you come back here then professional tools there's twitter for professionals i don't use it there's monetization where you want to monetize your those are for content creators i think uh this this guy started it's a long mosque where you content creators can get paid through a, a, a program where their subscribers or followers pays an amount to get exclusive content from them. So that's what this is for. But so Twitter ads, basically, Twitter ads. So bid on keywords, let's see, get started. Select my country, Nigeria. Yeah, create your first keyword ad. So this guy has actually changed this. Uh, I don't want, he has changed a couple of things. Wasn't looking this way before. So it's just the same way you run ads on all platforms. Yeah, you select your objective. What is your objective? Reach. That means you want to see. I but I like I said I don't advise people use reach. Just what the target is, show your ads to as many people. In your metrics, you can see 50,000 people, 100,000 people. You get charged for the number of people, not the number of people that actually that see the ad. And sometimes people might not even know they saw the ad. So there's engagement, there's followers, there's traffic. So if you have a website, you might want to do traffic. There's keywords. They just added this. It's on better version. There's followers, there's engagement, likes, retweets, replies, and link clicks. So you select one. Let's select this website then you put your ad text uh say you can see showing you how it will it will show let's see if we can add media uh documents downloads so let's do this okay. yeah so we've added media now then you select yeah then you confirm you can add multiple medias right then you put your headline so your headline will say Um, um, zero. It's app city tech. That's what you Then your website you have app city tech. That's going to add the HTTPS thing. HTTPS. Yeah. So you do that. Your your ad is good to go. Then next, uh, yeah, I was scared for a bit. <laughs> Those was not going to bring targeting for me. So the basic thing here is to know this targeting thing. Just target based on your audience, male or female. You can put that location, Nigeria. You can even use radius around location. So just like the Facebook thing where we said you can target people by streets, but they they have it for us and japan only so they are not they are technologies in there yet where you can target by street so now i can just target by let's say lagos 
Thank you. Uh, Lagos, Nigeria is there. So, like this, you are good. Then targeting features. You have your your keywords, yeah. So your keywords, you can always check. Let's say digital. So you can see a global audience of seven point two k. You select that. Then you see you got like I said, always check recommendations. So these are recommendations: content marketing, online marketing, email marketing, branding. So you always select these things. SEO, internet marketing, content marketing, copywriting. So you select this in case you don't have everything in your head at the end of the day, which is normal. So you can only select this, then you select follower lookalikes. So you can target people, influencers that you know are big on this platform. They want to target their followers, people that look like their followers. Let's say Don Jazzy, for example. So I can select Don Jazzy. So if you include people that follow Don Jazzy, you see my ad. I can select, uh, uh, wait again. Let's say I can select uh, a company. Let me say Etel. Etel Nigeria. The people depending on what my product is about and i feel okay people in what will look at like these followers will be interested in them i can always do that with this then there are also recommendations if if you, you can see there is access bank mtn nigerian gov nta depending on uba bank if you are targeting bank insta blog ninja sabinus it will be this day live so you can target people who actually follow specific accounts then you can target by uh, yeah so basically then you can select operating system i do want to target people who use only iphone do you want to target people on android other or desktop so depending on what you want to do then there we have a we have interest as well so for interest something before yeah so these are interests that you can target you have education you have a uh, life stages society what's life stages yeah moms dads newlyweds veterans empty nesters so it's always important to the overall success of your heart is in the targeting right you have to target the right people uh make sure your your ads you your ads are seen by the your the right audience that you've designed them for so it's always important to do all of this so basically that's what you can do with uh twitter twitter ads even though i like i said i don't uh normally recommend using it but yeah this is basically everything you can do with Twitter ads. So once you have your audience summary here, showing you the number of your potential audience, people in Lagos, you can always make it as robust and detailed as possible. Then you add your payment card. Hopefully they can start allowing Naira card again for these things. Once you add your payment card, you launch campaign, then you can always analyze your campaign on the platform, basically. So, do you have any questions on that, guys? Do you have any question on, on that? I'm thinking of a possibility of just showing through Instagram. Let's see. Do you have questions? Anyone? Mr. Mr. Obaro, do you have questions for me now? No, sir. OK. Mr. Sogide is not here again. Let me just, just a second. You can share screen on mobile, right?
Yes, you can. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I get some job. You can hear me. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, Instagram, basically. Can I get some work, guys? I want to know you guys can hear me and it sounds good. Oh. Um, let me leave. Yeah. So how about now? Can I can somebody speak? Because I'm not on the on desktop again, I'm on my phone. Yeah, it's better now. Uh, thanks. Yeah, so, uh, Instagram, basically, I just wanted to show us so we know every tool on Instagram and how we can use them. So on this page now, we have the, the your profile, your logo, we have your, your post, followers, following, then you have uh, your profile which you can always edit from here so you can edit you can change to avatar your name your username if you have pronouns if you want to be called they or him or her you can add them here you can add links here it allows you to add multiple links now before it was one link now you can add multiple so here you have facebook link thing there's uh bootcamp here there's join our community you can add multiple links from here then you can add your gender. You can put personal information here. Then you save. So this is what you do basically here. Category, contact, options, then profile display. Then you can share your profile, your contact, whatever information you put will show here as your contact info. So people can actually click on them to call you or send you an email. So this is your story highlight. This is how this works. Once you, you, you put a story here, Put a story on your plug on your device by clicking this second button here. This adds to your story. You open your camera. Then once you put it there, you you can now add it as you can see this button here. Add to highlight. Then I can add it as a new highlight, or I can add it to any of these highlights. That's basically adding to highlight. So once I click here now, it brings option to add to any of these or to create a new. Highlight. So that's what highlight is basically showing, giving a, a quick, at a quick glance, you can uh, show what your business is about if you, uh, on your profile, basically. So here is your, your, your feed section. Here is your reels section. You can have content here that don't show on this reel, on this profile side, and you can have content here that show. All you have to do is click the content. On this side, it will only show on this side. Yeah, so that is that. Then uh, let's move to this place. Yeah, you click here. This is your your tool that you can use for Instagram. No, 
well, let's quick go through this professional as well. I have 15 minutes left. I'll just make use of it as fast as possible. So this professional basket dashboard shows you uh, how your content are doing and how your account is doing. So basically what you have to do from here, it's, it's telling you to run as you don't need to telling you which tools to use, tips and resources, but all you have to do is just click here, see all. So see all now we have uh, we have for see all you can see last 30 days insights, right? You can see overview. Yeah, how, many, how many accounts you've reached, how many accounts you've engaged, total number of followers, and you can always change to last 14 days, change your previous month, last 90 days, last 14 days. So you can update to what age, uh, what uh, date range, you need the data. So you can see now this is from last 90 days, showing, uh, showing the content you shared, post 189, stories 181, reels, videos, live videos. So it's always important to like uh, use all platforms on, on Instagram. So if you create content around that will allow you to go live, probably a QA and a session you might want to just do on live. Uh, if you have, uh, it's good if you can do that. That's also part of content marketing. Your viral content strategy, you have to put those tools into, into consideration. So live videos is good as well, reels as well, then stories. You have to post things on your stories too. Because not everybody would eventually get to see your post, but they might see your, your story and click on it to, to see what you are talking, whatever you are trying to pass. So it's important to use these two options as well. So here it shows you how your contents are doing, best contents on your page. You can see them based on their reach. You can change by metrics from reach to shares or account engaged, apply. Then it gives you insights on how your content are doing basically. So there is that, uh, there is there. Yes, so here you can click on account reach. So here it tells you a breakdown. So you have, you reach 97.9K non-followers in that period. Then from post, the, the painted blue, or is it sky blue now, is the ad. Then, no, is the non followers, sorry. Then the blue is the followers. So you can see post, non followers, reach, reels, stories. Most of the stories are watched by followers. For reels, it's kind of a 60 40 kind of thing. So videos, more of, most of the videos are watched by followers. Live videos, most of it are watched by followers as well. Then you can see your impression, the number of times your content was shown, 196,000. Your top content. These are your top posts. You can see them. So this is our promoted content anyway. Then you can see cities where people, uh, your audience comes from, where your audience you reach on your platform, Algeria, Casablanca, Lagos. Then top countries, Nigeria, Algeria, Morocco. Then you have your age range. You can see 18 to 24 is taking 72 to 10. 25. So you have to understand these things, metrics as well to allow you design content specifically for the age groups on your platform. And to, so you can see the larger portion is from 18 to 24. Then overall, you have like 18 to 34 as your most focused age group. Then you have the 35 to 44. Some brands might have, depending on what the business is about, age groups are way older. But this shows that the audience are very young. So you have to tailor your content to fit in those audience. Then you can see your gender distribution, there's 57 percent male, 40 percent uh, women. Profile visits, external link tabs, email button tabs, call button tabs. You can see all of that on this side. Then account engage. You can click here to show what is the engagement on your platform. Can you guys hear me? I can't see my screen. Can I get a sound, yes. I know I'm not talking to myself. Because I can't see my, I'm using mobile and I can't see anything yet. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you very much for that. So here yeah, you can see your engagement as well. You see the number of likes, comments, uh, your reels interaction, post interaction, 
and every other thing. You can see cities where your engaged users are from. Top, most of the engaged users come from Lagos, Abuja, Ibadan, Kano. Then top countries is uh, Nigeria under engaged users. Then top age range as well shows 18 to 24, taking 55 to 25 to 34. So this shows important age groups we have to target. Yeah, and between some city sets in the these are people that actually engage with content, while the other one shows the people that we reach with our content probably from from uh, I'm trying to look for a part I know would interest the hair. Yeah. So now for your followers, you can see overall growth, follows, unfollows, you can see them there, then you can see top location, but you can sort by country or city, you can see your age range. Then your gender, you can see the gender of people, your followers. This is for your followers. The other is for your engaged people that are engaging your content. The first one is for people that you reach with your content. So these followers tells you current people on your page, what is the demographics of them? So this is the demographics. So across board, it shows 18 to 34 to be your major, the major strong point for for the brand here now. Then you have your most active times. What times are you most active? You can select by days. Saturday, most active is showing Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday, Wednesday, Friday as the most active, followed by, let's say, Sunday, then we have Saturday. So it shows, and then by hours, you can see what time people engage most with your content to make you know when to post this content. So, so on Monday, we have 9 a.m. as the highest, 9 a.m. Uh, so from 9 here yeah, now you have 9, there's 10 a.m., 11 a.m. before you get to 30 a.m., right? So you have most of your audience around this time, 9 a.m., 10 a.m. ish. So you have to understand this metric and you know when to put. After 9 a.m. and 12 a.m., the next one is, uh, is uh, 6 p.m. So you won't go and post content around 12 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the night and expect traction. So you have to understand the metrics. So across board is showing your most active times is from 9 to around uh, 3, 3 p.m., right? So you can see that across board. So that shows you, it helps you know what, what when to post content and what type of content, to, who, who are your audience, who are the people engaging with your content and how to target them. Then, then you come to settings and privacy, for this, uh, there's a lot here. So you have account center. This is if you intend to run ads on on uh, on Instagram, you have to take note of this place. Connected experience. You have to add accounts that you want to share connected experience with. But you have to add your Facebook account and all of that. So this ad preference. This is a settings for your ad. If you have any preference for ads, you can set it. Then payments, you can always add your ad payment. Yeah, this is card, your card. This is where you add your card if you want to run ads from Instagram. But I said earlier that I don't. I prefer to run my ads from from a Facebook Ads Manager because I see I tend to see more options, more tools are available for me to run my ads with. So yeah, as well, these are things you can just go through notifications. Time spent, it shows you how you use Instagram. This is for professionals, which is basically the analytic tools and ad tools. Then, what to see, muted accounts. If you mute any account, suggested content. If you want to hide your likes, you can put it here so nobody sees the number of likes you have on your post. They just know that you have likes, they won't know the number. So, you can do that here. You can private your account under here, account privacy, close friends, block people you block. You can add them here. How others interact with you, message and query replies. You can always set every of these things restricted people that you don't want them to contact you. Words, hidden words, words you don't want to appear on your account are here. Then archiving and downloading is here. You can always check uh, set settings for your archive. Do you want to save story to archive, save life to archive? It's important to save your life to archive so that you can download them and probably you share on your account or edit them or work on them. Then save original photos. If you want to do that, you can set it here. Uh, yeah. 
So basically, then payment, orders and payment, you can do that. So that's for the same card thing. If you want to add your card to the account, then we have uh, inside same thing. So basically, that's everything you might want to know about Instagram. So if you want to, Under settings, business uh, business tools and controls. Sorry, that have come here. So this is where you can set frequently asked questions so and save replies. So once people start asking some type of questions, if you save the reply, it automatically sends responses to them instead of uh, asking you to have to reply to all the messages all the time. You can put a welcome message. You can put a uh, you can switch your account type here if you want to go from professional to business. So if you have a personal account, this is where you go to switch it to professional. Switch account type, switch to personal, switch to creator of business. Of business, you can request verification from here. Partnership ads, where the one I talked about, brand partnership, where you have two brands showing on an ad. This is where you do that and branded content. This, then yeah, so. That's everything you need to know about uh, about Instagram. So I'm going to go back to the call, stop sharing. Yeah. So I, I tried as much not to keep into our time. So uh, that's everything about yeah. And the Instagram story thing is also something you should explore. There are tools on there if you follow us on. On our Instagram page, you see sometimes we use some of these tools uh, for quiz, for polls. Those are ways to engage and interact with your audience as well. So it's important to always use those things to kind of interact, polls, quizzes. Uh, how are you feeling today? They just do a slider using GIFs. Using uh, you can also set countdown timers as well. You can also do a lot on on it. Yeah. So you just ex ex explore the tools on Instagram and integrate whatever you do on it with Facebook advertising. You can always run your ads from Facebook to Instagram. It works the same way, even better compared to just boosting posts on Instagram because I don't do that. I Because you can see the enormous opportunities and things you can do with Facebook as manager. So why use boost posts instead of that? Yeah, so thank you very much. I think we've We've sorted social media marketing now. By tomorrow, we move into into what do we move? Into? We move into uh, pay per click ads. So for pay per click ads, what we'll be talking about is Google ads. Basically, we'll go to Google, explain how ads work on Google. YouTube ads. We we touch YouTube today. I'll show you how to run ads on YouTube. Keyword targeting and and all of that is what we'll be discussing. So the reason, uh, so also, I gave some assignments. I gave an assignment about uh, writing a blog article. Well, some didn't do it. I think it just two or three people submitted. I think it, it did, Mr. Barrow did, every other person didn't submit that. But some of the reasons why we, we, we might not be getting assignments on the go like this is just because I kind of integrated everything into the overall projects we'll be doing. So at the end of the whole boost up, we have the project, our capstone project, it uh, compasses the whole digital marketing strategy where you have to note all these things we've talked about along the way and implement them into your overall strategy, which is basically the first thing any digital marketer would want to do for an organization they just started working for. So it's important to you on that. That is one of the reasons why I've not been given assignments, and some of these assignments are not, some of these things are not things that can actually be given as assignments in terms of, let's say, Facebook ads now. I probably won't say go and run ads on your Facebook and let me see, because you might probably have to add, you have to create your graphics, you have to do the ad copy, you have to now run the ads proper. That means you need a card to run the ads then. So, so which is why I'm showing you all the old steps along the way to setting those ads up. So whenever you set them up by yourself, then you can now see whatever metrics you want to see. 
or if you have somebody who might want to test run, if you have an ad you want to run, you can use it as a test. You can let me know in the comment uh, in the group. If you have something you want to us to use as a test run, we can always do that based on everything we've learned so far. Yeah. So thank you guys. Jeremy, I hope you are dead too. I just use one minute extra. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Laura. Okay, so thank you, Ekundayo. Thank you, everyone, for staying for staying uh, to the end. Your good questions will come uh, after the class. If you have any other questions you want to ask, you can always send in the group. I will respond to them. So I think we are good to go. You're respecting the recording, a link to the recording on YouTube then your review questions for today. So tomorrow we go to Google Ads, then we touch everything. I hope we can finish it in one class because that's like, those are the big, big, big things we need to do. Yeah. So thank you guys. Uh, make sure you put your register by putting your name. Yeah. Bye.